Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I got a glare on my glasses, sorry. Um, this is for the new moon in Gemini energies for the sign of Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you, thank you for being here. If you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my vibe, subscribe. I like that saying. It kind of feels good. So, yeah. And um, also for my returning viewers, I am so grateful for you guys. You just rock my whole world. You, you leave such lovely messages underneath my videos. You really do build up my, my self-esteem. And I am so grateful for you. So, I just uploaded the guided, channeled, spirit, message and it was pretty freaking profound guys at least for me maybe you guys are already knew it but for me it was like I've always known the law of attraction stuff but I've never really known who I am and what I'm capable of I was just little old me from a little backwoods town and you know who am I to be special in any way shape or form and so the theme of this new moon in Gemini is clear communication, trust, and knowing oneself. If God is everything and everything is God, if God said in the Bible that he is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, he is everything that was, everything that is, and everything that ever shall be, then what does that make you? And when you know that you are a creator being, from a creator race, from creative source. And your superpower is the power to create by using your will, your intentions, your focus and attention. That's profound, guys. Go watch it. It is so worth watching. Okay, but Spirit said that this is about, this moon is... I'm not supposed to give you any tarot predictions. It just was told to me that you guys have been on the ascension journey and you are learning how to um, wake up to your divinity, right? All of the clairs, clairsentience, clairaudience, clairvoyance, clair, I don't know what all the clairs are, but clear seeing, hearing, feeling, and knowing, I guess. All right. So you're supposed to be trusting your own intuition. You are an initiate that needs to become an adept. And the only way to become adept at anything is practice makes perfect. So Spirit told me to just give you guidance with um, oracle cards on things that you need to practice to make perfect. And that this lunar cycle is going to give you lots of opportunities. It's like tests from the universe but instead of being linear in your belief system of you know pass fail nobody passes nobody fails everybody's just practicing and you're going to get the opportunity to become adept at what you've been taught so it's all good if you get triggered and you you just lose it big time I am willing to bet that you will find your vibrational center back to joy and love much quicker than you ever have before because there's been a lot of teachings a lot of tower moments a lot of red flags a lot of inner work shadow work clearing energy right um you've been shown clearly by spirit the things in your life that work for you and the things that don't you're being given the opportunity to to practice what you know right my candles getting low here and it's there so yeah how can you practice and become adept at your newfound gifts quite frankly becoming the powerful conscious creator that you are meant to be so if you want to become a powerful conscious creator and co-create with the divine your highest and best life you want to go watch that channeled message it's an hour long but it's for you 
It's free content, guys. Watch it in bits and pieces if you have to. But it's pretty profound, and I'm willing to bet that if you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, you will learn something that could change your whole life. So go watch it. All right. So Pisces, what do you need to know or practice in order to become the adept? Ooh, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. We just had the full super moon in Scorpio. So, you know, if you watched that video, that channeled message, you would know that Spirit said that last cycle we're just completing tomorrow um, was all about death and transformation. And it was about for some, there were two groups, right? Group A and Group B. Group A are people that were clinging to things that were dead and gone, like, you know, over and you know it and you're just unwilling to accept the change or the challenge, right? So those things were going to be taken from you or or just disappear out of your life or they would, they or it would just fall away. And group B are those who already went through that process and they had to tidy up their grieving process, right? Go through the five stages and get to the uh, to the other side of acceptance. So I am feeling like this reading is going to be highlighting some of the things that happened in the last lunar cycle since the supermoon that is still um, being shown to you and you're practicing what you've learned. You know, maybe you got triggered. Maybe you did some deep shadow work, you know. Um, whatever it is, you are being called on to continue on what you have started. Okay. Then we have surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So ecstasy, guys, what brings you joy? What lights you up? What makes you feel alive? And you need some more of that. That's what I'm hearing. So surrender to wonder and awe in everything. When you find something that brings you joy, you want to propagate more of that. Practice and become adept at being in the state of ecstasy and flow and connectedness. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Yeah, see that's, a, look at the lion just roar. So you are a powerful conscious creator and you're learning that and spirit saying you know don't let people steal your thunder don't give away your power to things that no longer serve you if there's something in your life that needs to be let go of let it go if there's something that needs to be held on to hold on to it if there's something you need to practice and get better at practice and get better at it if you still have more shadow work do more shadow work you are the initiate of the mystery schools. You are a profoundly gifted creator being. And it's time you know it. And it's time you step into your power. Practice makes perfect. Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or a situation, Turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will bring you clarity or even solve the problem. So like I felt with this full moon in Scorpio energy, there's something that a lot of you guys needed to um, let go of and you're obsessively clinging to it or you're overthinking it or you're procrastinating making your choice because you're not stepping into your full power and you're being asked to and you're being asked to align yourself with what brings you joy so instead of obsessively thinking over it because that creates energy blocks you need to surrender it to the divine and practice on a daily basis surrendering control right surrendering control to the outcome because as a powerful conscious creator your job is to create by placing your intention and 
focus and attention on what you want to experience and not what you don't. And so in order to do that, you have to allow spirit to do its work, right? The farmer, and I've used this analogy several times today, the farmer goes out and plants his crop and then spirit says, time to muck the barn, time to take care of the chickens and the animals and time to you know, bale the hay or whatever. You've got other work to do. The rest is up to us, right? Once you plant those seeds in the ground, if the farmer goes and digs them up every day to see if God's doing his work, then what's going to happen to the crop? It's going to fail. So if you don't want your crop to fail, you have to do what you can do to create it, then have faith and trust the divine. That's also part of the channeled message is trust. Trust you. Trust the divine. Know thyself. Surrender your attachments to the results. See, it's what we were just talking about. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the end results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can and will sabotage it. So Spirit's clearly giving you a message that you need to have faith, right? That three of wands energy. The guys in the tarot, there's the three of wands. A guy or a girl, it depends on the deck, is standing on a cliff, out, looking out over the ocean, waiting for their ship to come in, okay? So it's not like they're hoping their ship will come in because if they're hoping, they wouldn't be standing around waiting for it. They'd be doing other stuff. No, they're standing there waiting for it because they know it's on its way. They know that it's their divine right to claim their own order, their own creation, right? So you have to have trust and faith that what is meant for you will come to you in divine order. Practice till you're adept at that. Then we have be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires. See, that's what brings you wonder and awe, right? The magic, what lights you up. Focus only upon what lights you up. And they'll come to you upon angels' wings. <laughs> See, it's faith, guys. Trust. Trust and faith. Sorry, my kid's with my sister, so she texted me. All right, so be honest with yourself about this situation. Whatever this situation is, I feel like it's something that uh, you were supposed to clear out in the last lunar cycle, and you're just uh, procrastinating. And Spirit's saying that once you surrender to your full power and you stop overthinking it and you release the attachment to your results and be honest with yourself about the circumstance, you'll know the, the truth because your intuition is on par. You are a powerful, conscious creator. What do you know and how can you remind yourself that to have trust and faith in you and the divine and that you know what you know? Time to go. Mm. Mm. So for some of you, it's time to go. And that's that full moon in Scorpio energy. Remember I said if you're clinging to something that's dead, been dead and gone for a long time, Spirit's going to help you clear it out, okay? And they're going to show you how to align yourself with your joy instead of something that's bringing you less than, right? So it's time to go. The sun sets and rises every day. And it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life. And know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. And we are with you through each phase and cycle. So if there's something that's been dead and gone and you're clinging to it because whatever your reasons are, they might be valid reasons, but if you know it's over with, then it's time to let it go. Because every ending is the opportunity for a new beginning. When you leave a room through a doorway, there's something always waiting on the other side. 
Then we have Archangel Gabriel. See, Gabriel, doo -doo -doo -doo, he's the waker. He's the one that blows the trumpet and awakens the 144,000 from their sleep and brings them into the rapture, right? It's the twin flame story. If you resonate with twin flames, Archangel Gabriel is definitely the, the guy in the judgment card that goes, doo -doo -doo, and the dead rise. It's things that are dead and over with that you thought were over with are coming back around again, right? It is retrograde season. Retrograde means if you have any unfinished business in the past that has had no closure, it's time to close it out or to reignite it as your intuition tells you, right? You'll know, you'll know. So time to go. You have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you if you ask. Archangel Gabriel. So you have a mission and you've been awakened to this, this twin flame journey or this ascension journey right? And so um, you've gotten the memo and spirit says it's time. It's time for you to get on mission. You have a very important life purpose and it involves communicating and the arts. So you could be a writer, a singer. Um, you could be anything, a creator, right? Creators create. And um, part of your life purpose is going to be communication or maybe teaching other people what you have experienced and learned. Then we have Mystique. Ooh, everybody likes a little Mystique, right? Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to just appear. All right, see, when you clear space, when you go into that shoe closet and you start emptying things out and getting rid of and decluttering, anytime you clear space, that space eventually gets filled again, doesn't it? That's the nature of energy. So Spirit's saying, charge ahead. Don't cling to something that's not for you anymore. And don't take no for an answer. No is a complete sentence when you speak it, right? Not always when other people speak it. No, I'm just kidding. But actually, what I'm trying to tell you is that spirit is trying to egg you on, telling you that you know deep down inside the right thing to do. Okay? And when you do it, you can expect a miracle solution to just appear. You're going to practice becoming adept at all of these. Then we have Celeste. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works for you. This moment will usher in positive new energy. See, some of you guys, uh, you're being called to move away from something or someone. And it's going to bring happy changes for you. It's time to go. We have another Archangel. Archangel Raphael. I'm helping you heal. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. So if that feels like divine purpose for you, it's time spirit um, Archangel Raphael is here to help you to heal your physicality and maybe heal others as well. So what is your mission work? As if you haven't already been given hints on that, right? Uh, your mission work, if you resonate with being a light worker, ground crew, way shower, whatever, these are messages for you. So we have Lemuria, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. I really feel twin flame energy in this pile. So if that resonates, take it. Lemuria creating heaven on earth it's happening that's what the twin flames do is their ground crew right they challenge each other to become better than what they've been and they trigger each other to heal shadow side and they mirror to each other shadow side and you can't come into union with your twin flame until you are a vibrational match so clean it up I just said mirror and look mirror who or what is triggering you see you're going to get lots of practice this next lunar cycle on working on your triggers because somebody's going to trigger your butt big time and you're going to they're going to mirror to you and it's probably a twin flame okay but mirrors are beautiful 
beautiful gift because a trigger when somebody triggers you you say thank you because it brings to the the surface something that needs looked at why did it trigger me why do I feel the way I did do who do I blame who why am I thinking who there's another who in there guys who or what is triggering you? And what can you do to practice finding your alignment much quicker than you ever did before? Then we have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing and rewriting the future. I'm telling you guys, I feel twin flame energy on you. You don't have to resonate with that, but I bet you a bunch of you do. Break the chain, ancestral patterning. My dad's dad did it, and his dad's dad did it, and his dad's dad's dads did it, and it's been passed down generationally. You know, whether it's uh, alcohol, it could be good and bad things, but if you're being asked to break the chain, it's probably the bad stuff, you know. What have you learned from parents or, or ancestors that is no longer in alignment with, with what you're trying to create for your future and it's time to heal it could be alcoholism drug addiction sex addiction it can be procrastination it can be victimization it can be all kinds of things guys what resonates right fix it because it's going to free up your energy there's something you're clinging to you need to let go of and it might be because of a belief system that you have had instilled in you from your parent and ancestral line now i want you to ask a question yes or no pisces ask a question yes or no we're going to get you guidance are you ready we have no 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 a million times no i don't know what you asked but i feel like you're asking about whether you should stay or go <laughs> And if you said, should I stay? Should I work on it? Should I whatever? It's no, no, no. Oh, and some of you, that's the ancestral patterning. No, no, no. You were restricted. Your parents were no, no, no. Right. Controlling, right? For some of you, that's mm, a double message. But whatever question you ask, spirit, spirit saying no, no, no. Let's take a look at the other guidance listen to your intuition see you're becoming the adept you're practicing what you're learning trust that's also part of this channeled message i did trust trust yourself know thyself trust that you will know the right thing to do trust your judgment trust who you are trust yourself and trust the divine trust spirit let go see you've got it twice guys time to go surrender wow be honest with yourself about it too let go so whatever you asked about no 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 let go trust and listen to your intuition all right now we're doing uh twin flame sacred soul mage ascent i can't talk today nah twin flames sacred soulmates ascension partners or just well and i forgot to mention karmic partners and pisces in love right just pisces in love for those of you that don't resonate with any of those other uh journeys or titles then just pisces in love we're going to get you some advice we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate so you've gotten a lot of no's today but this is a big fat yes so if you've been wondering about another person or another situation other than the question you answered spirit saying yes this is your soulmate then we oh i like that one we have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life and i would be willing to bet it is the soulmate right here coming back into your life see it's retrograde so anything from the past that that you never fulfilled or you never you know maybe it was meant for you and you just you know the timing was off it wasn't right um somebody from your past is returning for 
wanting to reconcile, and it's possibly your soulmate. And we have very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's the manifestation. That's creation, right? Go watch the channeled message. It's going to help a lot. And you need, uh, there's a decision you need to make. And I feel like you're saying yes and no, yes and no, yes and no, right? There's something you need to release and let go of. It's time to go. So you need to make a decision, Pisces. Are you staying or are you going? And are you going to cling to the no or are you going to embrace the yes? We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. See, that showed up in your reading before where it says surrender to the wonder and awe. What makes you your soul sing, right? Beautiful messages. Okay, so now we're going to do messages of love oracle cards by All Things Intuitive. She's another YouTuber, guys, and I love her deck. So if you like it, go check her out and maybe buy your own deck. Okay. Let's see what they have to say for Pisces in love. We have, does this situation align with your values and morals? You know, I just realized I didn't get you guys archetype cards, so I'm going to draw three of those. Everybody else got three, and somehow I forgot to draw three for you, so I'm going to get those before we close out, too. Okay, so integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? Something needs to go. Something needs to be embraced. Which one feels right? Intuition. There you go. Which one feels right? You already know the answer you seek. You know. You can't unknow what you know. And that's what the twin flame message was from Spirit in the channeled message. Is that this is the lunar cycle of twins knowing what they know. It's like if you've been asking yourself, is that really my twin flame? Is that really my soulmate? Is that really ever going to happen? Spirit says, absolutely, it's your soulmate. And you already know. And uh, you're going to reconcile very soon with a lot of passion once you release whatever it is you're clinging to. Then we have vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. Whoever your person is that's your soulmate, you can be honest and open with them. They are going to nurture you. They're going to be okay with your vulnerability. They will not turn it against you. Trust what you know. Ooh, strictly sexual. This connection is passionate but not enduring. This is your fear. Or this is what you're letting go of. You might be in a karmic relationship with somebody that uh, because or how you came together originally was because it was very passionate and sexual. Um, and perhaps that's what you're needing to let go of because the passion might have died on the vine. Or it might not have had enough sustenance. It might just... When you are with somebody just for sex, it gets old, right? And it dies on the vine. You can't make something last forever that's not built on love. So um, and so, I'm getting a double message. Some of you are in a relationship with somebody that it was very sexual. And Spirit's saying, um, let that go. And others of you, this is your fear. You're wondering, is this really my soulmate? Will we ever reconcile? With this passion card, is it just sex? Am I fooling myself? Do they feel the same way I do? Or are they just wanting sex? Or are they just wanting to get lucky, right? So there's a double message there. Take it the way it resonates for you guys. And I'm going to get you some of these archetype cards because everybody else got three. And this is by Carolyn Miss. It's a new deck. Um, I set, They have a light attribute and a shadow attribute. And I set my intentions and I'm setting my intentions now, that the messages you receive are shadow work that you've been working on or been given tools to work on that you're going to become adept at. You're going to turn the shadows toward the light, bring things to the surface. Let's see what you got. Ooh, God. <laughs> wow, that's big one. So the shadow attribute of God is 
despotism and cruelty using your powers to control people i feel like that could be somebody else's energy i'm not feeling that for you so somebody else has been using their power to control you and they might be cruel thinking they're all that in a bag of chips right so you need to work on that shadow and bring it to the light and if this is your energy then you need to own it and you need to bring it to the light practice until you're adept at it because the light attribute of god is benevolence and compassion recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others it's knowing who you are know thyself if god is everything and everything is god what does that make you god so how will you manifest and create as a god are you going to be cruel and use your power to control people or will you be benevolent and compassionate and recognize that everybody has god within them not just you next one is visionary the shadow of the archetype visionary is selling insights to the highest bidder compromising your vision to make it more acceptable yeah it's lying to yourself that your manipulations or somebody else's manipulations it doesn't have to be you spirit saying you're a visionary okay trust your intuition and don't use what you feel or know to harm others don't compromise your vision and then if you bring it to the light and become adept at it you will become a visionary that has the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others intuition and a willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. Service to others, not service to self. Damn, you got visionary God and judge. Whoa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm just like a little amazed here, guys. I'm just curious what was on the bottom of the deck. Nah, it doesn't resonate. Okay, so your last card, Judge. The shadow side of the Judge archetype is offering only destructive criticisms, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. So it's being divisive in instead of being fair, right? And sometimes in legal issues. Maybe a divorce. Ooh. Ooh. Some of you might be going through a divorce. Hmm. So to take that shadow attribute and move it to the light and become adept at being in the light means you, as a judge, <laughs> need to balance your justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. You know what I'm hearing? That somebody in this, this situation, whether it's you or somebody else, is not being fair if you're divorcing and you're splitting assets somebody is being very very cruel using their power to control people you're supposed to trust your intuition and be fair you're going to get an opportunity to balance that let if somebody else is being an asshole let them be an asshole and you take the high ground because spirit will reward you for being the bigger person and material stuff is just material stuff it goes and it comes right it's like the flow of money comes in and it goes out it's the nature of energy and you are a powerful conscious creator and you can create more abundance where you are happy and when you're happy you'll create great abundance rather than just shared assets okay so your last card i drew this card it is a postcard from spirit by colette baron reed i drew one of these last month and this month i drew one for gemini on on camera for gemini and it was so perfectly matched to the channeled message of the energy around trust know thyself become an adept what else was there? 
Oh, and become a powerful conscious creator, right? The tools, using the tools you've been given. So this is very apropos because we create with our minds where our intention, attention, and focus goes, we create. So if you don't like something, stop giving it your attention and it will go away. All right, dearest you, on earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself in the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask yourself, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else could be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you, a story of courage and gratitude and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the stories you tell about it. So make sure they're stories you're proud of. Genuine, loving fan club spirit. Big stuff, guys. I hope it resonated. If you would like your own personal private reading, please don't be afraid to reach out. Everything you need is in the description box below, and big energies are on the horizon. And if you're on an ascension path or a twin flame journey, and you feel a little lost and wandering, and you need focus, and you need clearing and energy work, mission work, anything, guys, that's my mission, and I can't wait to help you with it. So if you feel called, check out the description box below. There are very affordable options. Okay, the best one is the deep dive. It's the most expensive one, but you get the most bang for your buck. And honest to God, it can change your life. Okay, so I love you and watch for my other uploads. I usually do a twin flame reading and a pick a card reading in between the lunar cycles. Okay, so make sure your notifications are turned on. And if you haven't subscribed or liked the channel, make sure you do that. Okay, because the interaction causes um, the algorithms to suggest the videos to others so other light workers other twin flames can find some guidance okay love and light and i'll see you next time namaste